I actually forgot to buy Lugo. I'm so patay. You guys can see it now. I'm a little bit. This is my favorite store. Maybe it's Palm Live. See in YouTube challenges a lot. Why do all girls in commercials in the Philippines have the best hair ever? It's probably CGI. I'm pretty sure. Hola amigos and welcome to today's vlog. We are here in SM right now. And I got requested by Goim Kim to make a vlog inside of SM. And this is crazy because I'm all alone. And it's super crazy, super scary to vlog along. But I have a lot of things to do today and I feel like I've, this day has been consistent consisting of one million days because I've done so much today so let me show you where I am you guys can barely see me <laughs> I'm going to go to that department store first guys this is really not a good angle and then lastly we're going to end by going to a cake shop bakery because I need to buy my mom Noah not Noah I need to buy my mom her birthday cake even though I'm all alone but I'm going to do a mukbang with the cake for her and I want to Daiso at Robinson's and I did not know they had Daiso. Give this a thumbs up for me going stepping out of my comfort zone. I don't even know if you guys can actually hear me because it is so loud here in SM but I'll show you guys around because a lot of you guys want to see what it looks like inside of the mall and you can see a little bit. Let's start with the department store. This is my favorite store. Guys, this is such a spontaneous vlog. I was not supposed to be vlogging today, but I got extra time. So I was like, why not? Problem with SM is that it's filled with copyright music everywhere. It's basically copyright music all day long. And by the way, the reason why I say I was so busy is because I had to go to the main area of Manila, like the middle part, and I had to get like a birth certificate and it's super confusing and I won't bore you with it. But basically I need that to get my Filipino passport and very confusing and you guys will fall asleep if I tell you guys all about it but just now I went through a lot today I have to do so much so much adulting so it's only lunchtime right now and I don't know how I was able to finish so fast but now we're going to grocery and shop a lot so guys it's that time of the year because it's almost Christmas and almost end of the year I found me a 2012 a 2012 organizer journal book I need these every year I buy them and these are way cheaper than I remember they only cost 400 pesos we have so many options and this is the prettiest I feel like sky shooting star I'm so excited guys I got my favorite drink it's the mango and guayabano drink and apparently prevents cancer so that's good and i haven't eaten food since earlier today like breakfast time so i'm super hungry and especially because i've been traveling around manila the whole day i just didn't vlog it because it was so boring it was just like paperwork and now i'm so hungry and i can't really eat food because i had my wisdom tooth surgery a few days ago so this will have to do. Can you see this Christmas decor everywhere? I'm so sorry about this angle, guys. It's just so awkward to feel like, oh. <laughs> guys, I'm so stupid. I just said I got my wisdom tooth removed a few days ago, and then I used a straw. You're not supposed to use a straw after wisdom tooth removal. I'm dead. It doesn't hurt anything. You could get dry socket, guys. If you get your wisdom teeth removed and then you use a straw, it's game over, guys, for your tooth. Or your ex tooth, your gum, you could get dry socket, which is really, really not, not fun. It's really painful. I've never experienced it before. Um, I and I finished the whole drink. Really hope I don't get any issues. It's been like four days since I got the wisdom tooth removed, but I don't know if you're supposed to drink after four days using a straw. Oh, by the way, I have a reusable bag, and I usually use reusable bags, but. I, for I forgot, not really forgot, but I left, I left my bags at home because, as I said, I went to the main area of Manila and I couldn't bring all of my bags there, so I left them at home and I just bought one because I need one anyways, an extra one. This is basically the inside of SM and it's quite empty in this area. We have some things going on down there, Marvel, and then the mall is really really big guys, I'm going to get lost. There's a ton of food, places to go to, a lot of options, but I rarely eat here because 
I'm so cheap and I, I'd rather buy groceries, like a lot of groceries instead. You guys can see it's you know, a little bit better with all of the lights. There's lots of Christmas lights here now. So pretty. And this is my favorite store, the Miniso. Let's go inside, guys. Miniso has a lot of stuff, guys, guys. But they also have a huge section of right now i don't know why but everything's filled with marvel for some reason which is not my favorite thing on the planet but they have a lot of cute stuff like japanese stuff like this i don't know what this is storage they have a lot of storage wait i bought this at robinson's i should have gone here they have a ton of beauty supplies guys i have this one. Oh no guys it's raining so the only only thing i really needed are batteries that's the only thing i really came to mini so far this is what's up guys my one of my favorite stores and they have tons of skincare products and it's quite affordable face lotion a mask and karmic basically lots of beauty supplies looks like this i don't know how to film in here guys skincare products i love those lights over there this is another one of my favorite restaurants here, Iceberg. I grew up on eating iceberg, kind of. Not really. And Starbucks. Starbucks. Oh my god. I need to eat one of those things someday. Someday. When I'm rich. So expensive in there. All that's needed now is to go to the fully booked store. It's a bookstore. I need to find an economics book because I cannot understand any of my lessons. Okay, here's the store, guys. Fully booked. I love it more. I love their art section. I'm trying to look for an economics book. Book, but this one is not. It's not for grade twelve. I need one for grade twelve. Also trying to find a book for IQ test preparation and aptitude test. Well, it doesn't seem like they have it. Okay, guys, I'm currently in the grocery section because, as I said, I got my wisdom tooth removed, so I need to find. I really need to find food that are soft. So lots of cup noodles and stuff like that uh, because I'm also going to get my I'm going to get another wisdom tooth surgery on Thursday two days from now so I need to buy more food that's soft I'm so tired of getting my wisdom tooth removed by the way guys I always get them removed but that, this one would be my last wisdom tooth that I have to get removed hey, guys this is like from your guys' point of view Here's the cart. So here's the grocery store. It's quite big, guys. See? And this is the area where there's a lot of like Japanese stuff, so it's way cheaper. <laughs> guys, I'm trying to get the thumbnail. <laughs> guys, you can basically have none of the snacks because everything is too rough for somebody who just gets wisdom tooth surgery. Guys, in Filipinos, they love snacks. Lots and lots of snacks. Guys, I had to sacrifice the pain of my wisdom tooth to do that thumbnail. Oh my god, that hurt. Okay, I'm in the my favorite section in the world, which is the cleaning section. Guys, I don't know if you know, but I'm a clean freak. Why do I do the whole closing store? And I love to do the laundry. I know I'm really weird. But I'm going to try instead of buying those things, those are quite expensive. I'm going to try to buy those and just like use hot water to melt. And it might end up being cheaper. The actual tide is very expensive, but if I buy these ones, they only cost 25. I used to do this when I was in Shargao and it worked okay, but yeah, I will try it and I will. Maybe update you guys. I don't know how I'm supposed to update you. Maybe on Twitter. I don't know. Here's everything I have so far, guys. Those are all pasalubo for the US. Guys, this is my favorite section in Islam. It's the Korean section. And this is where I get all of my mukbang food. These are my favorites. I got some noodles. So I got... This one is one of my new favorites. I love it. And here are the ones you can see in YouTube challenges a lot. That one, you see that one a lot. And that one, and that one. You see all of them in that one. I'm trying to look for noodles. Um, because I'm going to get wisdom tooth. I've said this so many times. I'm going to get my wisdom tooth removed. And I have a life hack for you guys. So, this one costs 68 
This one cost 50. So it's 18 pesos cheaper. It's the same thing. The only difference is this has a container, the other one doesn't. So better buy the one without the container. It's way cheaper. Guys, I will update you when I get home, but I'm so drained. I almost had like a meltdown at the grocery store. I will tell you guys why later, but for now, let's be happy. My mom's birthday in a few days, so I'm going to buy her. She's not even here. I'm going to eat it all alone. Um, but I bought her that that one. Um, the medium classic ube I cake and she loves ube so I'm going to buy that and I'm going to make a mukbang on it on Aria there. Alright guys, I made it home and I have all of the bags over there and i am not in the best mood right now guys i don't know if i should keep on vlogging or what but i am not happy right now i'm really 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 stressed out so i don't know this is the most horrible light ever and i'm trying to hurry up because i have to film a mukbang before night time and i don't know what time is it but i think i have one more hour of sunlight i know i look like crap but i'm really sorry guys basically i've told this before but i'm going to go to college next year and the college i'm going to i contacted months ago i wanted a phone call they never called me and then i got the information i wanted on their website via via chat and then they called me like two days ago that i actually need a filipino passport i need an nso birth certificate and also i need to take the exam before january and you know the entrance exam that is in January that's fine January I have a few more months but no 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 I am leaving in less than 30 days to go to the US which means I actually have to do the exam within 30 days and get my passport I got my birth certificate today and if you guys didn't know I grew up in Sweden so it's very like I was born there so everything is really confusing in the Filipino system and I am not having it today I'm really stressed out I've been going all over the place and if you've been to the Philippines not if you've been if you've lived in the Philippines they know that there's one million steps before you get to your goal I love the Philippines I really do but I really wish things could be a bit easier I actually just filmed the whole vent and I cried and I did not mean to do all of that but I guess um, that would be its own video guys so if you want to know what actually happened in my day I guess this is a cliffhanger now um, if you want to know what actually happened and all of the stress I've been going through about school and about many things that have happened that just was not fair and why I'm so angry about everything check out the vlog coming soon and I want this vlog to me bit more happy than about me crying and stuff so let's just forget that now okay I'm going to film a mukbang and I will show you guys the cake right now guys this day has been so frantic I don't even know what life is but as you can see the life is life is setting I really need to do this now okay it says happy birthday mama and I have 48 and I forgot the thing for the table to wrap it I'm just gonna put a towel says 40 I'm so tired already guys I have wooden spoons I just bought by the way I got it from Karamia go there guys I'm sure it's really good I haven't tried it yet but I'm sure it is lots of people are very self-conscious about eye bags I don't really mind I buy bags I bags if I go like this, they're gone. If I go like this, they're back. <laughs> it's movie magic. I'm also Middle Eastern, guys, half Middle Eastern. So I have more eye bags, more prominent. Prominent? Yeah, we're using a bit, you know, harder words today. Um, I know I'm, I seem way happier. That is because I have just eaten cake. And cake makes you a better person. Um, here it is. I ate, I guess, one fourth of the cake or maybe even more. Um, it looks gorgeous inside I'm going to freeze it guys and oh my god if you guys can go to Karamia go to Karamia because they have the best cake I've ever had in my life today has been an extremely long day I have my um, Halloween hat on it has been the longest day ever guys it's pitch black I'm really scared 
I hate it when it's this dark outside. Oh my god. You can't even see how dark it is because of the light inside. But oh my god, can you see that? That's our balcony, guys. It's pitch black. I made it to the first floor. I am not turning on the electric fan just for you guys because it's going to make way too much noise. Now, the thing I, problem I have is... Um, look at my freezer. It's uh, basically... Oh, I guess it's not really filled up. I'm being over dramatic. I need to make more ice. Oh my god. I have my wisdom tooth surgery. I've said this so many times. You guys are probably so annoyed with me. Uh, I have my wisdom tooth surgery in two days. So I need to have ice ready. Oh my god. Yes, it fits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I actually need water. I feel severely dehydrated. That bob in the middle of my hair hair in the middle of my head is really stressing me out even more than i am what if you guys are annoyed with me saying that i'm stressed out because i know i am getting annoyed but you know the more you talk about it the less problems you have right I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure i've heard that somewhere let me show you everything that i got i have this this is from Daiso. As I said, I went to Daiso and I didn't film it because it's not inside of SM, it was inside of Robinson's. I love Daiso and I did not know Robinson's had it, but I bought these for my mom. Teaspoon, wooden teaspoon. I wonder what kind of wood this is. Um, doesn't say. I have two of those, one red and one blue for mama. This one is mine. So I'll put it over there. I'll wash that later. Make sure, guys, if you buy utensils, this is really hard to vlog with a DSLR. Um, make sure if you buy utensils to wash them before. Oh my god, I wish I could do this every day. Imagine if I could just hide inside of my. I look insane. I wish. Don't you just wish some days you can just go out like this? Oh, so much peace. <laughs> some days I just. You know, I don't want people to see my face, you know? I feel like I bought so much today, you know? But I didn't buy anything I didn't need. You know, I totally need this face mask. <laughs> no, I obviously don't need a face mask. Sometimes you just need stuff like that, you know? To relax. And it was pretty cheap. It was only 40 pesos. Then I got my acne lotion. I hate saying that, acne lotion. But this is the only thing that won't break me out. It's the only lotion I can buy that won't break me out. I need to be prepared for the next year or else I get very confused with life. So this is it, I'll show you close up. I would definitely recommend this to you guys, the Premier Note Daily Planner. Make sure to get a daily planner, it's really thick. Because if you want a daily planner, obviously, maybe if you don't, maybe you don't want a daily planner. But it looks so pretty. This costs 400 pesos, which could, it could seem like a lot, but it will last for a year, guys. So it's honestly not that bad. The last one I bought, I think, was almost like 700 pesos. I don't know why, but. So, 2020, next year. Is it elections in next year? I don't know. A bucket list. Ooh! I haven't had this before. It shows your bucket tracker or budget tracker. Wait, what? You can write the big expenses you've taken, you've bought, and then you write when you purchased it and the amount, and then you can see how much you bought for the month. That's so cool. And then you start straight away. So January, and then you have for the first week, I guess. And then you can write here and I love it's just dotted because I actually don't like those lines because sometimes I want to go out of the lines but I can't because there's lines. <laughs> I want 2020 to be my year guys. 2020 is hopefully the year where I get into my college and this is perfect because it's all stars. These are my dreams. Hopefully this one. It's the shooting star that will come true, or is this a shooting star? What's that? A comet? <laughs> These are all of my reusable bags. I got them from the department store, and now I have a fifth one. Um, because save the turtles. <laughs> uh, no, but because it's honestly easier to have reusable bags. It's honestly easier to have reusable bags because I can just put them over my shoulder. It's easier than having these plastic bags. And by the way, I'm not going to waste these plastic bags. I'm going to, um, what do you call it? Use them as trash cans, trash bags. So I got this yellow paper for school. Okay, so I have um, shower gel, 
palm olive. I was going to say, maybe it's Maybelline, maybe it's palm olive. Bagnogonokena. What language is this? EU? What? Wait, did I buy something expensive? Oh, this smells so good. I got this um, in the grocery store. Wait, what? I usually buy really cheap soap and, and body stuff, but I don't know why I bought this this time. I feel like I got really confused today in the grocery store because I was so stressed out. But it only costs like 100 pesos. And the thing is, with high quality soaps, they will last you longer than the cheap ones because with the cheap ones, you need to use more. My conditioner, I use cream silk. And I wish my hair looked like this. By the way, why do all girls in commercials in the Philippines have the best hair ever? It's probably CGI, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Yes. Ooh, smells so good. I got my perfume. I'm just showing you guys the fun stuff. This is the pen shop. I love pen shop. I know this is like for um, tweens, uh, but I don't buy high quality perfume. I just want to smell good, you know. Don't need high quality stuff. Um, I got me some uh, chinelas or sandals because I ruined my chinelas, my sandals the other day because my feet grow, um, I don't know why, they grow still. I'm 25, I'm not supposed to grow anymore, but somehow, somewhere, somehow, I'm still growing. I don't know why. So I needed more um, chinelas. If you don't like feet, uh, then look away, but um, look at that. Look at my feet. <laughs> it's so tiny. Um, but that's okay, it looks cute. These are my old chinelas. And you can see they are not uh, partners, guys, <laughs> uh, because the other one of the this this chinelas are, is broken. So I threw that one out. But now I finally have proper pairs, and I will put these as extra chinelas. If you guys can find these are glittery. Can you see the glitter? My God, look at the glitter. Yeah! If my neighbors could hear me right now, they would be speaking of my neighbors. I don't know who it is who keeps on parking in front of our freaking door. I was barely able to get inside today and I saw one of our neighbors were looking and I was thinking, is that his car? But I didn't say anything guys because I'm nice and whatever. But um, I wish they wouldn't park in front of our driveway. I could barely get in, what the heck? So anyways, if you guys can find charcoal, coal infused, I look so stupid, charcoal infused brush, toothbrushes, you should buy them. And these also apparently have bamboo salt infused green bristles. It's so high tech these days. Um, and also buy the soft one. I didn't even check that it was soft. Thankfully, this is soft. Colgate is my trusted toothpaste brand. I've never gotten cavities, so listen to me and buy we have a dehumidifier because it is humid as... How can I say a bad word without saying a bad word? It's humid as Shih Tzu. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's humid as Shih Tzu. My mom says it's... Uh, she says shit instead of... Uh, the S-H-I-T, which honestly, S-H-I-T doesn't feel like that bad of a word. Doesn't, I don't feel like it's really that bad of a word, but you know, people think it's really bad, so. By the way, did I say what this is for? This is for my paper um, trash. I got these cheese ramen for my mom. Um, I bought a lot of things for my mom. Uh, with the money I was supposed to use for my uh, food because I actually don't even need to buy food because I'm not even going to be able to eat anything because I have surgery in two days so I just bought soft food for me I actually forgot to buy Lugo I'm so patai I'm going to die of hunger I didn't even buy myself Lugo patai tayo niya no no I guess I could make my own Lugo I didn't really think guys I was so frazzled Bought this for family, for Chelsea and family. Uh, Pancit Canton for Mama. She wants to make food. She loves to cook. We got Pancit Canton for Mama. These are all Pasalubong guys. If you guys didn't know, my mom's in the US. Um, 
soon noodles for me because I will soon get the wisdom tooth surgery. <laughs> Topoki noodles for me. I basically am going to live on noodle diet for the next week. Um, I already live on the noodle diet because I'm recovering still from the other wisdom tooth surgery. But anyways, I have um, chicken flavor and tom yum flavor from Kuka. <laughs> this is all noodles, guys. This is the worst diet ever. Another soon. Another one. Be on for mama. She basically wanted me to buy all of the, her favorites. So clover. And we were talking on FaceTime at the same time. And I had her pick everything out while I was there. And I love doing that because it's... It feels like she was with me, picking everything out that she wanted. <laughs> she was basically grocery shopping with me. My favorite indomie noodles. Uh, lechon manok boy bawang for mama and family. I have peanut bar for mama. I got three chocolate mangoes for mama, Michael, and Chelsea. Look at my American shorts, guys. I am, by heart, an American. <laughs> uh, wanna be at this. Then we have cashew tarts for Madre. Uh, my mom saw these. I saw these and I was like, Mama, do you want them? She was like, yeah, I do. Malos for Michael and for Mama. Michael ended up loving these guys. So if you are visiting the Philippines, if you're from abroad, you might end up liking those because Michael likes them and is American. Hot sauce, sardines. My mom loves these. Hot and spicy tuna for Michael. Mama can have some too, but I, I'm pretty sure she can't actually have seafood. I don't know why I bought sardines for her, but she wanted it. Michael ended up, ended up loving this tuna. And back when I ate meat and fish and stuff, I love that one too. This is for me. It's really tiny, sweet and spicy. Chili sauce, ube mochi for mama. Banana chips for uh, the family in the US because um, for the household, I guess, for mama and Michael household. These are the best banana chips. If you guys can find these, uh, Davao, Life is Here, ES, special banana chips. Buy them. They are the best banana chips I've had in my life. You know, that's it. <laughs> I, that was a lot, guys. Here is my wonderful suitcase for the USA. I love vlogging. It was really embarrassing and scary and nerve-wracking to vlog all alone in SM is, I don't know if you know, but SM is filled with people. They all look at you if you do something weird. So it was really nerve-wracking and I never vlog there alone because also there's copyright music in every store. There's so much music there. It's horrible to vlog in there because you will just get copyright strikes. So I will sound like a chipmunk throughout the whole video at the mall and we really apologize about that but it's the only way I can do it thank you so much guys for watching please go down below and subscribe you guys adios amigos Ooh. my mom got me when she was around 22 which means